floss tube is Karen with KV Studio Creations. Um, it's been a while, um, probably at least three or four weeks, three weeks, I think. Um, but I'm back, so that's good. Oh, dang it. I, bur I buried my notes. Let's pull those out. All right, so starts. So I started my birthday style. Although I don't know that I can really call it a stitch along because no one joined me, but there's still time. I will be stitching on this piece for a long time. So I am stitching Cinderella Slipper. And this is from Cross Stitcher Magazine. I think it's October. October 2018, yes. So it's that. And this is how far I've gotten. So not super far. Um, I've only worked on it a few days. Um, but I am enjoying it, so that's good. Actually, pulling it out makes me want to pull it out again and work on it, which I haven't done in a few days. So, oh, and this is a needle minder I made for myself, and I love it. Um, I also have this one that I've made before that I love, too. So, yay! I started it. So, to join in, you can, um, you know, follow the hashtag, join in with the hashtag, whatever, K-E-B, K-E-B day. SAL, so, um, and anything that's a silhouette or, um, fairy tale, and you can already be working on it, you can have just started it, doesn't really matter. Um, so there's that. What other new starts do I have? Oh, so, um, I, this is from Cross Searcher Magazine as well. Um, there's one of these for each month, and so I'm doing it on one piece of fabric. So I've started doing the borders because I joined the Magical School of Stitches and Literature on Facebook. I resisted at first, but I decided I needed some motivation because I was struggling to motivate myself. So yeah, that's got, this is extra credit for March, April doing work on borders. So I'm about halfway there as far as the border goes to getting that extra credit. Um, so yeah, and I will have a link below to Magical Stitches if you want to learn more. There's a lot of people out there, um, talking about it and in it, part of it. I am Ravenclaw, um, which is what I'm on Pottermore as well. So that's fun. Um, I also start stitching some gifts in an ATC, um, but I can't show those till they've been delivered. I will insert a picture of last month's ATC here. So I was getting ready to um, mail the ATC for February and I realized I had not recorded anything about it like I had planned. So these are um, snowdrops and it is from the January 2019 Cross Stitcher magazine. Um, it was a pain to stitch but it looks pretty so that's good. I actually started it once trying to do it one over one. Um, on a different fabric and realized that would not work. One over one on, I think it was like a 28, 32 count. Um, this I ended up stitching on 18 count Ada that I hand dyed. Um, and I think it turned out really well. My husband wants me to stitch it again for us, but it was a pain to stitch, so I'm not going to do that. Um, also, I'm sending it with this card, um, and it's just a Shutterfly card, um, but of some flowers I took a picture of a few years ago. So, there's the ATC, um, because that has been received. And I'll show my ATC that I received later because uh, it's kind of buried right now. So whips, so those, that, that was new starts. Whips, um, I've been working on my Linen and Threads 2018 Mystery Stitch Along. So I made some pretty good progress. Um, just stitching on it and then also now that I've joined the um, Magical School of Stitches and Literature. This is a great piece to use for homework because it's got a lot of fantastical sort of things on it. So, yeah. Hopefully I held that, held that up long enough for you to see. Um, I also worked on my Ink Circles Brave New World. Um, this is a travel piece. Oops. This way. That's where I started. As you can see, I didn't do a good job of centering it, but that's okay. So I'm really loving it. This is some Mosel um, thread, and it's just, it's so pretty. I love it. 
Um, I also worked on my black cat sitting on jack o' lantern, which is also a cell, black cat cell. Anything that has a black cat on it, you can join the cell and tag. Um, so, um, I've released this pattern already. It's available in my Etsy shop. Um, so you can either buy each pattern. There's going to be, um, there's five that I did as bookmarks and now I'm stitching them all together, but you can also buy the combo pack. So yeah, pulled that out and worked on that. What's up, Jason? Oh, I think I'd be <laughs> in the shot on that one. Dang it. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Um, so let's see. FFOs just last month's ATC, which I will have already shown you. Um, I'm going to go to this next. So I'm doing the unread bookshelf cha bookshelf project 2019 on Instagram. And so each month you read a book that's on your bookshelf that you haven't read before. So last month it w the thing was something given to you. So this was, um, lady, the lady in the attic. Um, and this was given to me, this is by Tara Randall. This was given to me by my aunt, um, because it's about cross stitch. Um, Basically, um, a lady died and she left behind a cross stitch and her granddaughter is trying to figure out what the different um, elements of it mean. So yeah, it was a pretty good book. Like I gave it three, three out of five stars. Um, it wasn't amazing, but it was good. Um, I had a thought of like maybe trying to create a, a round robin where people read the book and like send it out to the next person and each person stitched on something too. I don't have the energy to do that at this point. But if anyone wants to read it, I'm willing to send you the book. So first person who comments, the first person who comments that they want to read it, I will mail you the book. So anyways, there's that. Um, all right. So I got some haul. I got some of my cross-stitch magazines. Cross-stitch gold. Got some pretty patterns. And then I got cross-stitch crazy, which is really great. And I love this little kit. However got a problem. Let's see if I can show you. Have you emailed them about it yet? No, I have not. I would email them or contact them about it before putting it in a video. I don't plan to email them. Uh. I'll just deal with my sad issue. <laughs> so I'm trying not to show you the thing, but so in full bloom, right? In full bloom. Yeah, I'm missing pages. Some of them are duplicated and some of them are missing. So I don't have the pattern for this and I don't have, I only have one of the three patterns down here. So that's kind of sad, but that's life. I don't want to deal with it. I have nothing to deal with in life and I'm not going to deal with something like that. Hi Jason. You want to join in? Figured I should. Okay. For those who think I'm just invading her floss tube, am I invading your floss tube? No, you're just joining in. Okay. Okay. Although I should probably move you over because you're like the light from the other room is like... <laughs> this isn't really a chair. <laughs> That's okay. He's sitting on that step stool. <clears throat> okay. Uh, oh. You, good timing. Oh, I need to hold that. The next thing is, this was a <laughs> birthday gift, and it's a project box from some of my siblings. I'm trying not to box. hit you in the head because I can't <laughs> see it. But it's really cool. It's a really pretty box, and it opens, and it's got... This little tray, little hearts. So the idea is I can put my flosses in there and accessories, and then I can sit the tray on my lap and um, work on the project. So that's exciting. I'm excited for that. It's newly varnished though, so we've been having it sit in our sunroom to help dissipate the smell. But I'm excited to use that. I, I forgot know. how much it smelled, and then it's like sitting right here the whole time. Oh. Yeah, it's it's kind of stinky still. <sighs> but once it once I get it stared out, I'll start using it. Um. So, um, also a thread maniac, I want to give away for this. Oh, I should probably take it out. She sells these bags. Um, that you can just put stuff in. So, I'm excited for that. And then she was also getting giving away some scissors. So I'm excited to try these scissors out. She says they don't cut the best, which is why she's giving them away rather than just selling them in her store. But I think they're pretty. And if nothing else, they can be a model scissors for my scissor fobs. So 
I'm excited about them. And there's her little logo. And I will link her below and in my show notes and everything. Um, my ATC. So the theme was um, plants slash fictional heroes. So uh, at Bonnie Randall sent me Wonder Woman. And it's a spitting image of Karen. <laughs> Hey, this is perfect. You can see it now. See it? Because, like, you can see. See, it looks just like you. Just like you. Um, and then, it was my birthday last month, so I got this beautiful birthday card from a friend from high school, so that was really nice. And then, another friend gave me some balloons, which you actually can't see on this, so that's cool. I have them on top of our TV. And then, she also gave me a gift card. So, I bought some supplies. So, I bought some zippers that I'm gonna use for, there we go, for project bags. And I bought some more glue, um, but I love this, that it has these tips. I think that'll make my life a lot easier. And what it, okay. Um, I got some more of this red aquamarine dye because I love dyeing fabric with it. And, oh, another zipper. And then I got some chain. Um, this is, I've been making some keychains that I've been selling to a uh, sugar maple trading company, a local uh, store. And so I needed some chain for the silver keychains. And I bought some white embroidered floss because I'm trying to remember who it was. I think it was Stitch-esque. Mm, I don't know if that was what it was. Anyways, I'll link her below. Anyone, someone on Instagram, had posted that she had uh, dyed um, floss floss for the first time and I want to try it and she encouraged me to do it so I think I'm going to do it and then I also bought this because I want to watch as many Cinderella movies as possible while stitching on my birthday song so three I've seen these two before and, look that, and I love them I have not seen this one we'll see what they're okay I like them I don't like them but I love Cinderella spinoffs, so I'm excited to watch them again and have them. They're very like Disney TV tween girl esque, and that's true. But obviously, it's not my genre. <laughs> it's just Fair enough. Not my thing. So that was all my haul. Um, and then so design shop. So first, um, I've been playing around with more clay, and so I made these. However, I did not. Um, I didn't cook them long enough because usually Jason does the cooking of it and I did it myself and I didn't do it right. Anyways, but I didn't find that out till later so I guess I'll probably just keep those because they're they're a little bendy. I think they're fine. They still work as I think they work better as uh, needle minders just because you, if you can't pick the needle up because I <laughs> my big hands and can't grab the little needle. Um, my big hands can't grab the little needle, and so bending it a little bit so you can get to the needle might actually help. I don't know. Anyways, this one's my favorite. It's a shamrock. Uh, but anyways, I also released um, my the prancing unicorn pattern on Gumroad. Um, I'll insert a picture, hopefully. Right over this face. It'll be right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that one you can get for zero dollars or you can do more you can send me some money or you can just get it for free um, and then I got my Patrick Spring patterns released finally I mean my goal is to get them released in yeah I only have two hands <laughs> <laughs> my goal is to get them released in February which I did barely so that's them Mark Butterfly Daffodil and uh, umbrella. umbrella. Um, and you can see I did beads and ribbon around the edges. That's my first time trying it on these. Um, I got frustrated at times, but I did it. And, and they then, look wonderful. I just realized I did this wrong. Anyways, so this is the back, so the fabric. But I did it. Oh, no, I did do it right. Anyways. <laughs> you look for errors where none <laughs> exist. That's the issue here. They look beautiful. Anyways, I love the fabric on the back. I'm going to do more with this fabric. So. Because he's so cute. 
Anyways, um, do you have anything you want to show? I do. Okay, yeah, something you want to show. I shouldn't, but it might motivate. Oh yeah, you me worked on that. Cry. Yeah, so I worked a little bit on this. What are we? What are you calling it? It's what's the pattern called? It's ink. It's ink circles. Brave new year. But I worked a little bit on it. I got one thread done because I did, I started working on it and then realized the whole thing was off by one. So I had to unpick my whole thread and then I had to restart that thread. So I only got one thread done in the course of an entire movie. <laughs> but that's because I stitched a whole thread, unpicked the whole thread and stitched the thread again. So I sort of stitched three threads, <laughs> three threads, but I only got one thread of actual uh, progress done on it. So yeah, um, and then just shout outs, um, Angel, the Elegant Thread. So I'll have to be honest, I watched this like a month ago and I thought, oh wow, this is really good. I really enjoyed her video, but I can't remember because it's been so long what I loved about it, but it was really good. So you should check her out and I will check her out here again too, even though I haven't been watching much Flossy lately. Will you be linking in the thing below? Yes. So Everything will be in my show notes, um, which will be linked below. So yeah, I think that's all. You got anything? I gave my thing. All right. We're good to go. See ya.